Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you another fast design that I do it um, thanks to printed balloons. But if you don't have printed balloons, it's okay. And this is a technique, very, very popular. But I'm going to show you something that I add to make this design more like um, wearable. And I think it looks, you know, cool for kids at least. So you will need a five inch round, any color of the face that I'm gonna show you because there is different colors. This is a printed balloon. And I'm gonna show you right now my printed balloons. Um, because if you are planning line twisting, look at, um, there is in different uh, colors, but so I'm gonna use white or it can be any color, let's see. So look, it, we have this type of faces that also a lot of people think is the Jack Skeleton. So with this same type of face, you can make Jack Skeletons but in my case it can be a ghost too so i'm gonna use for example i'm having here a white and this is a five inch round per white because it is hard to find the regular white color you know it's a lot of a shortage so i have this that is per color which is not that bad so i'm gonna blow it in all this mess because today i have an event that is a line twisting a school, two hours full festivals, and there's hundreds of kids. So what to do? Fastest designs. Plus, um, there's always something I recommend, offer to your clients pre-twisting balloons. That way you can tell them that it's the way to cover most of the kids. Because in two hours, it's impossible. You're gonna make 200 designs or, you know, and especially because it's the time you want to provide entertainment. You want to provide a moment to ask the kid and joke with the kids. And that is time. So imagine, you know, so many balloons. So what I do is I offer pre-twisting. And I always say, look, I do my best. It's more than an hour that I'm going to be pre-making designs to have things ready. So then people don't have to wait too much time in line. Um, so having that, this is going to be one thing to add it into my pre-twisting designs. <laughs> so... You blow your balloon all the way, no, really you need to make it just roundish, okay? The five inch round, now you can make this with also, um, what is, the, you can make it with um, 11 inch round, any size of round balloons, even B bodies, even 260s, yes, it's possible with any balloon. But I have this, and this is a technique I learned by watching Buster, balloon twister, very famous. Uh, he is a really cool buster clown, I think, but he's a really good balloon twister and he had these videos. It was kind of balloon tutorial for kids, but it, he was really good. He's really good. He still, I think, has TikToks and Instagram, buster. So you just squish when you tie it close to the nozzle, you just squish. Look, and then you're going to make a bubble here. So this is going to be part number one. Now, the way he makes it, because he doesn't use the printed balloons, he repeats this process and connects these two bubbles together. So that's going to be the body for a ghost. The way I do it is because I have these printed faces. You know, you just need, you just need to blow them. And then you're going to blow them something like all the way. Then you can always lose some air to make it soft and squishable, but it's still kind of big, right, for a five inch round. I tie it close to the nozzle. And instead of push this and then make the bubble here, it's not gonna happen because the face is right there. So this is what I do. I push, I make a bubble, and this bubble I like to make it into a pinch twist. Look, I still have this safe between my finger, and that's another technique Buster, you know, show us in his tutorial. He's a really good balloon twister entertainer. He's an artist, so. You can follow him on TikTok. He has TikToks and Instagram. Buster, yes. So then you just twist those two bubbles. You just create a pinch twist and a five inch round little bubble, twist it, and you have something like this, look. Now you can always make some shape, like twist this part. But now this part is not gonna look like this. It's looking roundish, which is okay. You know, this is the way I do it for fast and a fast version having printed balloons now you just need and this is something also because i save balloons save time i have here 160 deco mix uh, 
yes and it looks like a 260 but it's a 160 decomex you can use this with a 260 balloon white or 160 to, the cool thing is what i do and this is another thing that i can share with you but because of experience you just inflate it like 10 finger tail and i like to make two finger bubble pinch twist two finger bubble pinch twist two finger bubble pinch twist three pinch twist it's another way to make little hands that looks cute then I measure a hand. Then I pass it in between this connection. Okay, pass it around there while twisting your twisting around. And then measure another hand and finger bubble pinch twist, finger bubble pinch twist, and another finger bubble pinch twist. It can be two finger bubble pinch twist, but this is what I like. You have all this left over, cut it. And look, I'm gonna cut it, leaving some space there. You may think, well, with this, I can use it for another pair of, pair of, pair of arms. <laughs> pair of, pair of arms. My goodness, it's so hard to pronounce English for me. <laughs> so another, you know, like, um, set of arms. Ah, there you go, hands. But you will not have enough to make three pinch twists in each side. So this is what I do. I'm gonna now try with another, and this is gonna be much faster, so you can see how easy it is. You have a manual pump, you blow your printer balloon, pam, 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 loose on air, so it's soft and squishable, close to the nasal, make a bubble, tum, 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 pinch twist, lock the pinch twist, now grab your round balloon, five inch round, and do the same idea, but because of experience, you want this to be more roundish, not so big, so then it's gonna be easier to do the squishing, and then it's gonna be easier to grab a little bubble, because why to keep things too tight, it's gonna be too hard. So then you just grab these two bubbles, twist it together, and repeat it, yes. So as you can see, this is, not, this is a line twisting design, totally it's a line twisting design. Now, you have these leftover arms from the other ghost, right? So when you have it like this, you can always just split it in half, you know, you split it in half, okay? And then you just grab it, pass this around a couple of times. It's gonna help you to lock things. And then you're gonna end up with something like this that you can always grab these arms and bend it just, just like that. And that's it. Simple, easy, you can cut the excess but that's the idea. So with your saving balloons, uh, you have this type of arms, this also with, and it's okay. Now, what else I add for this line twisting designs? Well, I have, this is a 160 Deco Max. You can have um, 260 black, but this is a 160. It's cheaper, so that's what I get. It. And there's no other option because I couldn't buy 260. There is no 260 black. So I have to do this. So you just inflate it, leaving approximately nine finger tail, and you have to make your pedal like bracelets, six pedals. So you just make three finger bubble, three finger loop, twist, 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 and do these uh, six pedals of a three finger loop. So that's approximately, and if you can make seven, go ahead, make seven like that way I'm doing it right now. So you will have something like this. Now, remember, this is already the design. You can just give it with this, it's fine. But this is another good thing. You have something like this. You can always grab this, attach it, pull, pass it around that little tip. And then this thing is gonna be in one of the sides in the back and bend it. Bend it from there, bend them just like this, bend it. So that's gonna help you to have a stand, something to the ghost is standing. So then you just grab one of your re wristbands that I'm in a crisis because I have a lot, I bought a lot, but I don't find it anymore in my Dollar Tree, which is a bummer, but um, also I've been looking online, you cannot find this anymore. There's another brand, um, so I'm gonna see if I order, but these wristbands are really cool. And what else he can be instead of using that wristband? I was thinking the rubber band, you know, rubber bands, and just use it like that can be a good idea. 
I don't know. So you have this. This is the design, and you can um, do this for this one. Also, you can use a clear 260 and just attach it halfway, and then the kids can pretend it's flying. You know, that's another fun way I do it. But today, this is uh, and uh, things that I want to share with you. When I say a clear, it's like the clear 260. You just grab like halfway or just a scrap blow it it's clear so you attach it from here bend it and then just the kids don't have any as a bracelet they just kind of hold it and take it you know like it's flying like a one ghost something like that so that's the idea i hope you like it thank you so much for watching my videos don't forget this design it's kind of like i learned them before it's something that i i repeat and repeat because it's a it's a a fast design thumbs up came the whole idea from Buster, the pinch twist, but this part, because it's already printed, I just added the printed, you know, to make it faster. Uh, if you don't have printed balloons, you can always make this technique and do this printed with Sharpies. Yes, of course. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and check out on the description of all my videos. You will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel. Bye-bye.